Thanks, All right. friends. We got those blades sharpened. Now we're in the truck, headed to Bristol, Tennessee. Got to drop off some slabs at my buddy Freddy's shop. He's doing a class over at the Matrix Center where he needs about 15 slabs. He needed a few more, so I had some on hand. Got some walnut and some cherry in the back of the truck. He's also got a YouTube channel called Got It Made. I'll leave a link down below to that. And he bought a church about maybe February or March of this year. And he's been renovating it and he's about got it done. And I think he's got all his tools in there as well. So we'll pop in on him and drop these slabs off and see what he's up to. He's got a lot of neat machines in there. <music> get started I want to show you all this red oak right here check this out this is not perfectly quarter sawn but there are some medullary rays showing up here on the face of this board check it out right there beautiful stuff right here five inches on the width five quarter on the thickness really nice red oak guys really really nice it's even better on this side there's a lot of character in this timber Really nice stuff. I'm getting a pretty good pile of it here on the pallet. Right there, that's how I'm working. I'm throwing all my boards on this pallet. Then over here on the right is my log right cart. And what I'm doing here, all my off cuts that are just, you know, just little off cuts that are left from pattern sawing, like that thin piece right there, or any kind of Bart slabs that go to the burn pit, go in this cart right here. I pull it over here, then I'll get the tractor and take it down to the burn pile. This is a really handy cart. Log right sells these. I bought this one about a year ago. And I think it holds up about 1,500 pounds. If I'm not right, you guys will know it as I'm saying it here. I'll change it right here on the screen. But I think about 1,500 pounds. Really good tool to have at the mill. 
And I'll leave a link down below if you guys are interested. I bought mine from Logrite. Good people. Same people that make the cant hooks we use. All right, friends. Looked over the background noise if it's coming through the camera. All my neighbors are on their tractors today. It's really nice out here. What is the date? December the 11th. It's 63 degrees right now here in Tennessee. You can't beat it. That's really nice weather. And all the neighbors are out on their tractors doing chores, hauling up feed, it looks like, for some horses. There's a lot going on around here. It's been a pretty loud day here at the mill. I'm helping with that by running this big sawmill. So what we got going on here today is a nice red oak. And uh, also, that footage before over at Fetty's shop and the sharpening of blades was yesterday. I was hoping to get up here last night, but it got too late and had to run a bunch of errands in town. So it was about seven o'clock before I got home. So I thought I'd start up here today and get some sawing done. At the first of this little sawing part of the video, that was some red oak we just looked at. That's five quarter by five inches on the width. Those are gonna be for hardwood flooring for the new shop. I'll run those through the molder once I get the new kiln up and running here in a few weeks. And uh, it should be ready in about a month or two. I need to dry those down, air dry them to about 20% or less. So this right here has a definite crown to it, kind of like a rainbow, kind of over-exaggerating what I'm talking about here. When you have that, I've talked about this in the past, this is old hat for you people. I cut off the horns first, which is the top of the crown. Now turn it over, belly up, and cut off the belly. And there's a little bit of waste by doing that, but that's how you get a nice square cant. I'll tell you what, guys, I'm pretty fired up today. I've been stuck in the house all week because of COVID. They shut the schools down, so me and Bruno's been doing school work. Luckily, my wife was off work today, so she done it with him. So I've been up here sorting slabs, looking through timber, and getting logs ready to saw. And last night, I watched the outlaw Josie Wells almost two times in a row, guys. One and a half, actually, I fell asleep. And if you've never seen the outlaw Josie Wells, it's worth your time, trust me. One of the best westerns of all time. So after watching Josie Wells last night, and not being up here for two weeks, I am ready to go, guys. I'm pretty fired up here. About as fired up as I think I've ever been. And my new shirts came in, guys. Get my beard out of the way. That's ridiculous. These are the new shirts we're doing with Farm Focus. Mine came last night. If you're interested in them, there's a link down below. Go check them out. So let's get sawing, guys. And uh, by the time this video comes out, we'll be at 98,000 subscribers. So we'll be at less than 2,000 for 100,000, and it's December the 11th. I forgot the date already. So hopefully we'll be there by New Year's Eve. That's my goal, 100,000 by New Year's Eve. So tell your friends about this channel, guys. Help me out there just a little. And everybody on Patreon, thanks for supporting the channel. And everybody subscribe to this channel. I really appreciate your time. It means a lot to me here, you guys watching what we do. One last thing, guys, and we'll get going, I promise. We'll say congratulations to my dad. He retired from his job yesterday. I put a little picture up. And my mom sent me that yesterday. They had a little party for him. So hopefully you guys will see him here at the sawmill soon. He's going to help us finish the barn. He's going to help us up here with the new kiln when it comes in. He's going to help me get caught up on sawing some of these logs. So you guys will be seeing him on video sooner than later. So congratulations, Dad, and don't get too used to this retirement life. I'll see you Monday morning. Get those boots ready. Got a lot of work to do up here.
Here we are, here in the valley, by the riverside. We have our peace, we have our freedom, if only for a time. We won't go on. Know it well, the pain of a leaving, but this will.